What's up all 20 people watching this? That's right, I'm talking to you. You better feel special. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a homemade duck line to rig up your decoys. This is just a really cheap way to do it and we're going to make this video fast so I don't waste your time and it make you really happy and it will make me really happy. So it's a win-win. Alright, here we go. Let's get into the video. First item you'll need is a fish stringer. You can pick these up almost anywhere, pretty much hardware stores, Bass Pro Shops, Sportsman's, any store that's affiliated with outdoors pretty much because it's basic necessity for almost every outdoorsman. So these run about $2.99. That's what I think I got this one with. Uh, some are more expensive. I think this is just a 9 snap chain stringer. But yeah, that's the first item. So let's move on to the next, next one. item is going to be paracord. I think this is just a hundred yards of it. Uh, it runs about five ninety nine is what I got this for. Just try not to get too expensive stuff and you'll be fine. Uh, so total of these two is about eight bucks, which that's what we're going for. Now let's move on to how to start rigging up the old long line real quick. All right, now that you got all your items sorted, you're going to want to move on to the first step of this process. This is taking the clip off of your fish thingy make bob all right yeah it takes pliers get the first link right there cut it and that should just pop right off now you want to do that to all nine or however many hooks you have so get them all in a separate file just like that hey would you look at that i did it all right next thing you're gonna do is about you're gonna get your paracord you see and you're gonna get about 20 yards if you can. That, or if it balls up, then you're gonna have to cut it short because that's what happened with me. Almost when it gets balled up, it's almost impossible. So sometimes you gotta work with what you have and that's what we're doing right now. All right, you got your paracord cut. Now what you're gonna do is tie the end clip. You just put it in there. And I usually like to tie a square knot because back in my Boy Scout days, I was taught the square knot was the best knot out of, oh, sorry if you couldn't see that. Just about like that. Make sure it's tight. And then if you want to, you can tie a safety knot above that. But that's what your end clip should look like. Alright, after you tie that end one on, you're going to want to thread all these down to the end so you can start tying on your other hooks. Now, I usually go about, uh, say, two feet. And then you just gather up your rope. Separate one from the others like that. Just flip it around here. Go through the old rabbit hole right there. Then pull it tight. And boom, you're on your way. Just like that. And then you'll just take your other ones and go all the way down two feet apart. And that should leave you with enough line on the end for about uh, the way I'm doing it. Say I'll have eight feet of line left for anchor so I'll get back to you guys on that now after you get all your hooks on there you can start threading your decoys there's usually a bunch of holes on these uh, you got the back hole front hole bottom hole that hole yeah but I usually go into the front hole right about here and then clips on tight uh, the thing I really like about this is you can just switch any kind of decoy out so I could be running redheads and say there's no redheads, so I'll switch line, put gadwalls on the line, and that's just one of the many benefits of this. Hey, look at that. We're almost done. Now what you got to do is tie off your decoy so they don't just float away. So we're going to take the other end of this rope here, the you know, the one the decoys aren't tied to, and we're going to take a weight like this one right here. This is just a mushroom weight. This is six ounces. Um, waters and area is going to depend on what what type of weight you need I'm not fish uh, not fishing hunting too harsh of water so I'm I'm going kind of light uh, you don't have to use this type of weight this is just what I'm gonna be using you can use a block of lead for all I care maybe even a boat anchor but that's just up to you and 
Now that we got that tied off, we're going to be moving on. Guys, if you follow the directions pretty precisely, this should be about what you're looking at. About six decoys rigged up with your weight at the end. Uh, if you're worried about any knots slipping, just tie a safety knot. And then what, I didn't show it on camera, but what I usually do is take a lighter and melt the paracord at the end so it kind of molds together. This leaves a really strong knot. Now what I'm going to do next is take them out to water so you can see how they float. I think I'll try them out in the river and pond conditions. Uh, it's, it's just a really cheap way to do stuff and if you're a budget hunter I really suggest this. As for my next videos I'm, I'm hoping to get a better microphone or well, a microphone at that just to upgrade quality and then I'm going to be trying to adding trying to add a lot of content this year like this is the first video I've done in a couple months and it sucks so anyways see you guys out on the water